All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about my Green Bay Packers. Now, unfortunately, we're at three and four. The loss of Devontae Adams it has not been ideal, but earlier today, reports came out that the Green Bay Packers are inquiring with the Houston Texans about wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Now, we know in general, because we've heard from ESPN's Jeremy Fowler that, quote-unquote, a few, a few GMs I've spoken to are certain Green Bay is looking for potential wide receiver help on the trade market. And then, like I said earlier today, we got confirmation they're interested in. Now, if it's not Green Bay, somebody's going to get Brandon, okay? Now, Houston's technically rebuilding. I'm not... You know, I think Houston has a ton of talent. However, Brandon Cooks just doesn't really fit their timeline sitting at 29 years old right now. Proven number one guy. He has been on a bundle of teams, putting up a bundle of stat lines. Specifically, he's had a thousand yard receiving seasons both last year and the year before that. We're averaging just 5.8 yards per attempt right now. So it, it's it's despicable if we're being quite honest with you and you've got the Minnesota Vikings sitting at five and one you know us Packer fans we kind of all knew that the loss of Devontae Adams was not going to be good however I tried to be optimistic thinking to myself well you know what back-to-back -back MVP Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers Matt LaFleur we got some good coaches on the staff we're going to be able to figure it out it that's just it hasn't been the case. Brandon Cooks is a legitimate deep threat target so far this season. He's caught about 28 balls on 47 receptions in just six games with Houston, averaging 281 yards. Bro, he's averaging 10 yards on 281 yards. Apologies. However, on his career, he's averaging close to 14 yards per reception. You can also throw in about six seven eight touchdowns for the season so this is the type of x factor that we need to get we need to get them and with houston they're just looking to acquire draft picks they're just looking to bundle okay i guarantee you and i really hope it doesn't go to a fellow nfc contender like could you imagine imagine waking up tomorrow and you see that the minnesota vikings sign brandon cook or trade for brandon cook apology it's that's so unideal the rams go out brandon cook it's it's so unideal we need to we haven't man i've been a green bit packer fan i'm only 23 i've been a packer fan my whole life i can't even think of the last time we made a move like this on the offensive end and just a move like this in general and it's not even like brandon cooks is all that crazy you know no disrespect to brandon but you know it's not like they're you know trading for justin jefferson or you know <sighs> it's been tough all right it's been tough i want him to get odell but it looks like odell first off you do have injury concerns right but also with odell you know it looks like he's going to be going to the chiefs it looks like he's going to be going to the bills he's going to be going elsewhere so this is a move green bay has to do i mean brandon cooks the lowest amount of games he's played since his rookie season was 14 he's as reliable as they come we need a deep threat. Aaron Rodgers is not even attempting to throw the ball downfield. He's not even attempting it, man. Receivers are dropping it. We're getting stupid penalties. It's so dysfunctional. We have way too much talent. Rodgers, our running backs, we're way too talented to be three and four. We've got to do something here. I think a lot of you guys agree. Let me know, Packers fans and NFL fans in general, what's your call? Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for more. Peace.